parasitic in small ruminants. I will ask a few for, for my English. I will try to speak very clear. Today we, we are going to uh, focus in parasits uh, like uh, Trichon tongilate family that include Trichostongilus cu columbriformis, uh, Tedlox tortaya, and Hymonchus contortus. Work in this family has a very similar life cycle. Uh, we are focusing in this uh, in, in the talk today. The life cycle is uh, the adults are grazing in pastures. They, when they lay eggs, if the weather is uh, enough uh, um, good for the larva, they will grow in the grassland and the youth or lambs will take them from the grass again and after in the body, they, in three weeks, they will become adults. Hybonchio contortus is named Barber Paul. It's really a very voracious blood feeder. It can eat a um, reasonable amount of Seasonal because it's more active in summer, and but it stays for long time in the body. It's a very prolific. A female can produce 5,000 to 10,000 eggs a day. The management of parasites are focused in. Uh, use of uh, the warming and uh, for a long time we are coming in this way and now we have a problem that is most of the uh, craters are being um, developing resistance in the worms. If this is the, the picture. The jaws, uh, we have one, uh, um, the warming, uh, the warmer that is uh, effective in this moment, that this is seducting, and we don't know how long it will be. Uh, if you see the all the warmers are now in all the kind of animals that really in the gut. They, this the warmer never will work at the top. We have a tool that it was developed in South Africa that is the FAMACHA. FAMACHA has scores like uh, one, two, three, four, and five. Being the most, uh, uh, the, the lower value is the healthy animal, and the higher value is the dynamic animal. Um, we can use uh, FAMACHA for establish when they warm the animals. Uh, if you have, it's proved that animals with over three, when they are four, they become, this is a good moment to uh, warm the animals and not spend uh, the warming in animals that are, are not in the way to need it. Um, it's very important to, to know that if we don't use repeatedly, come back and get myself an inch. Uh, we can start with something named refugia uh, that is the 
Parasites maintain um, uh, not resistant. They, because you don't use in all the animals uh, the warming. Uh, you need to, to prevent that you, you have to maintain a, a, a efficacy in the, in the number of uh, the warming drops. Because if you have just one and the animal develops resistance, you are lost. You need to have at least one when you can come back to, to use. And the famacha can help you just to know when to the one then and to the set. No. We call me, but I'm busy. Are in a good shape. So we, and I call her and. Uh, the, we, uh, we will focus a little in organic because organic animals are not allowed to use any, any the warmer or chemical. And we have, it's a very important an organic farm in West Virginia University where we are developing some research to know about the warming and how to avoid the warming. Uh, it is a really a challenge because before we start this experiment, we had in a moment the idea that we needed to uh -huh. warm all the land. And we needed a to maintain the animal just the warming. And we are showing you now an example how can uh, we help keep to use less the warming in all the ways, not just for organic animals. That's it. We, we developed uh, this research for three years. We they warm the lamps in the moment possible for um, Warm because temperatures are high and the humidity in July, at the end of July, the precipitation stand being higher than in the main summer. We divide the lamps in four groups. The first group we named control. That group didn't receive supplement, um, the warming and either supplement. The second group received a de-warming, but one, just one the big hoop. And the uh, The group three was not the one, but they received uh, some supplement through the winning time. And there was the four system that was the warming or uh, what is name? Uh, with, uh, with grain. The animals, uh, these animals in the organic farm, the animal farm, management that is developed just to uh, dismiss the way of about this land, possibility of same fest with warm. The grazing management, uh, the grassland that we use in the organic farm are mainly in orchard grass, tall fescue, and Kentucky bluegrass. There are things that happen in my life. Kind of uh, I decided to uh, not buy any more females. That I was going to raise what I, what I grew, the females that I grew out of the artificial equipment I used. Daniel Ray Grass. You make a in the same plot we have in August. What makes him I heard less than a as, uh, You made an awesome decision. We have a volume that uh, we received uh, to improve the quality because we can fertilize with uh, chemicals and the legumes help to maintain the nitrogen in good way. And we have 
mainly this and which sometimes I say is um, this uh, the others for uh, like uh, um, uh, horse with the animal they ate the fruit and the amount of this leg this uh, fork going down uh, the management uh, in this farm consists in lambs born uh, in April. We make the breeding season to make possible that in April, when you don't have too much snow, the animals uh, are born. But they graze with their mother, and we have a grazing period, three days and a resting period over 56 days. In most of the time, we, in between the two grazing, we used to do uh, Here is in April, the side. didn't want the journalism, it was uh, actually a one, it was a limited number of you. We've gotten very healthy. And when they are, we win uh, the lamb, they are managed in pasture in the same schedule that we did with uh, the mother, and they are granted more forage because we want they select. The number of this is for uh, 2012 um, um, ewe lambs. We still, because the we uh, FDG are make us to sell the, uh, the mail, we use uh, to have the two groups, 20 animals, uh, 20 something animals in each, and we move them in the same. I explained three to six days. Uh, we have two experiments. The 50 oh, years old, we could decide mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that we probably sell in uh, And we uh, developed uh, the yeah. experiment, but we took, at any rate, we had all these bull customers yeah. and we had, uh, that we could draw on. So we got the idea, why don't we pull those, the male calves back in those bull customers and stock them and sell them the large name bait. So that's what got us into that business. That's the problem about the mid-90s, God's providence again. So we got into steer business, okay, bringing in the bull calves and steer calves back to my bull customers, uh, trying to graze them as much as we could. But, and so I really believe that we that we were successful. Now that got us out of the first word in, in, in the cattle. Uh, it's called okay. come and tell us why you are working with low protein. It's possible that the increase in the protein you can develop a better job. And we did, in 2011, we worked with 70 wind lamb and for 19 weeks, and in 2012, with 44 EU lamb, that was the picture that I showed you, and we offer a supplement over 16% protein. Here you have the second one. They are But if you see the land that don't receive supplement, they just graze, you can see they are animals that are weak. They grow, they graze in the same plot. And the animals they want are strong animals compared with them. The treatment three and four, you can't distinguish too much in between the two supplemented groups. They are very similar. Sometimes you see the activity in the animal that are one and uh, feet are much better. Okay. In 2010, this is the 
post-winning gain of the lambs, and uh, when you see here, EU lambs and weather perform similar. And the supplemented jaws the supplement are less, uh, um, uh, they gain less than the other. At the beginning, they were more or less similar. The, the reason that we have here that using from the mid 90s, we kind of bring these times over four with the one behind the field, took them out of the experiment. And the strong animals that are here that weigh more than, in, including sometimes the, the worm, is because they laying on the table, and that this is an ideal grazing system. And that, and that system is... When, when we see the, the pot of rye, Rye grass, uh, uh, good amount. The reality, the animal that were the worm perform better with uh, and they have a good gain. And the animals that are not the uh, one the was a 15 acre of uh, better. Oh, okay. Okay. But when you go to this good order, score, you can understand that the, the group that is the third group, they have the famacha going down uh, all the time. Uh, the animal use the protein to be held. They didn't gain, but they maintain a very, very good uh, performance in Pamacha. We didn't deworm these animals. They were, through all the treatment, uh, in a good shape. That means that these animals could be organic animals at the end. This is the same thing, the, but this is the last FAMACHA score. The tall bar means worse animals. And the group supplemented are very similar with the group just the worm. That is the other reason that we have uh, in this year. I will explain to you that these, these peaks are when rain. And the amount of rain is the high peaks. This year was no, not a very, very good raining year. And the temperature is almost till the end of the experiment in the way to make the worm to perform better. We've got a little high temperature. And this is the fecal count. In this year, we have done the groups. These groups are the group that is not, uh, not the one, they have high fecal count, and these two, uh, these two are the group that are, the, um, is natural, uh, the animals, this is something interesting that the management did, that the animal after, with just one deworming in the three months, we maintain the, the levels in a low uh, level in, in the animals. Uh, at the beginning, the group that we did one, we did this at the beginning, and we didn't do this anymore. So, or, 
not the good side, it does cost more than two times half a match for or over, we made them to be the warm, and they get out of the experiment. That is uh, the, the, the animal, not the worm, maintain in the level of three point, um, three thousand uh, X per gram. In, I will speak now of 2011 and 2012 when we offer a high protein um, uh, um, um, supplement. I need to tell you something more. We are not using more than 1% of body weight. This is not a supplement that we want to use as a supplement. It's a strategic supplement to make the animal to fight with worms. And this is the reason we use just 1%. All these lambs were fed with one pound a day or less, depending on uh, the average weight. If you see 2011 was a year with enough rain almost every day and the, the hot temperature over um, was uh, this is centigrade and uh, it can be over 80 uh, most of the, the time. In uh, 2012, we have a very good dryness before the experiment, but during the experiment, we have enough precipitation to maintain quality in the grass. And the temperature dropped a little in comparison with uh, 2011. I want you to remember this because the behavior is In this year when we had good rain and uh, we have probably more active uh, worms, the group that was supplemented performed better in, uh, in final way. And the group not supplemented, the U lambs are similar, but in the weather, we have a better behavior in the whether that were the warm. When, when uh, we analyze the post-winning weight, you see they are uh, similar. The only one that has um, a bad uh, gaining in the growth of not supplement and not the one. You do see the fantastic fall is very similar at the beginning in all the groups, just this group has more and is really in like in uh, depending on the warming feed and the warming and feed. And you see here, in a year like this, that was a very um, dry at the beginning with high quality, the animals perform with low FAMAT at the end, the two groups that were the worm, and the two groups that were not the worm performed similar in FAMAT. Uh, this year, 
when we analyzed the grass, the grass was over 18% protein because the rain comes, and I don't know if you had the same, but in this farm, we had like a new spring in, in, in July and August with the rain after the big dryness that we had in June, July. And the performance through the, all the period, we have um, the group that are uh, no supplemented and uh, the group that, um, that is uh, the worm perform close to Afamacha. The only group that have Afamacha over 3.5 is the group that um, but never reach this year, they never reach the level of a match of four, and we didn't the worm any animal in any treatment. That means that the protein that we had in the grass helped um, to have not just organic animals. In this year, if we think that if we develop a feeding with grass, uh, a legume like alfalfa, we can reach the protein level to maintain this animal organic and grass feed. This is uh, a similar treatment. And uh, we have here that nothing uh, over 3.5, and this animal performed similar in uh, FAMACHA score, and see they didn't have difference in the gaining when we the worm just the animal that needed to be. And uh, the X count this year are similar, but um, the groups that are to him. with um, the warming perform better. They have just a small peak here that can be effect of temperature or weather or something. And now the other year we have here that they have a line in between. The animals that were the worm maintained the account in the 200 and the animals that <coughs> per gram and the animals that were not the worm maintained in uh, 350. This is because the, this is the reason that we decided to continue this research, but now we will use the FAMACHA as, uh, as um, indication for the warming, and we will add the protein in three different kinds of protein to try to understand better how we can avoid the use of, we know that the, the warming in, is really uh, weather dependent. The year that are really and hot, the- So good, I won't feel so many of okay. The parasite will make us to use the, the warming more. But we are proposing to use that as un, uh, one way to determine when and what animal needs to be the worm. We, the, we need to work with some uh, visual uh, check that is, uh, wow, look at all that green grass. Uh, skin that you have uh, on there. Okay. 
and you see if they are white or red, and depending on the chart, you can make decision when the one will be. But this is a very you know, interesting It's easy in, in a big uh, plot to, to work in this way, but uh, a just want to run that. We think that usually people sell the the mail at the winning, and but with the that's what my case. That's why I say I will do it. You met who here? It will be eight o'clock in the morning. It is so great. Need to use the warming, but we have to use more smart the warming. In, in last year, yeah. we think that the problem is all you have. And you know this, if you grass feed animals, grass feed is really weather dependent. The thing that a dry year happens doesn't happen in a wet year. We have in 2011 a different behavior. The animals, Purple cow is one of those making your product remarkable. Was wet and there was cool. a very big load in uh, warm. And we uh, needed to the, the warm some of them because they reach uh, four in, or two times in, in Pamach. But in 2012, with the rain that came that wasn't to make really wet the soil, the Probably the infections were better, and just with the 20 percent of the maintained the animals lighter. They, they didn't weigh similar, you see, to the other, but they was healthy to finish. All right, make your comment. We select more animals. In this is group, you don't have to email you and text you. You know that extra sort of beef I bought you with. The thing is, the conclusion is, whether the who will feed with pain to make them stronger. If you have possibility to check the grass, if you have more 18% pain in the grass yeah. in July and August, you can avoid it. I'll put them Effect of the protein on the biology of the worm or just building the immune system of the animal in general? We, 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 don't, we don't know exactly now how it's. I think that works in the good way. There are parts of the protein by this blood that is soft for the hymontus. But parts help the animal to maintain a very better environment in the rumen to make, to produce more protein and fight by himself. We need to do more research. We are glad to do this for three years uh, with two different levels of protein because we know now that we need to go and look for explanations more in detail. We, we work, uh, we work every okay. other group, every 14 days. We have research. I think there was a program in South uh, United States where they did the with the matcha, but they need to be, they needed to the warm in three, 3.5, because it, the period was longer. We had enough time to check in a month two times and the warm if they were four. But if you have a longer period in between famachas, I think that you need to 
be more conservative when you name anemic or not anemic. Because it, um, yeah. in this moment, is uh, one that the West Virginia farms are using. And uh, we depend on the Baldrick and Dr. Minch uh, recommendation. Yeah, what we are working, concentrating a strong disease. We are not working with Monencia or, or the other. We have some measurements, and they are not really important in, in, the, in our plot. And there are bacteria like Oxidia. We check these, the X, and they are not very important. There are times when they are possible uh, stressed for yes or something that we have some peak in Cecilia, but it's not a problem. Okay. I've got living. We, we think that no. This is the reason because we are uh, trying to in, include FAMACHA in the decision to the worm. If you maintain uh, less animal the worm, you can maintain for more time the non-resistance to this worm. But if you use the, the worm once and again and again and again, you can develop in a quickly uh, time resistance. This is the, the key that we are asking to make FAMACHA help you to maintain better the resistance. Non -resistance to that is, that is, that you need, sometimes when I answer this question, <laughs> it's the health, you need to see the animal, when you work, you know when an animal, including Famacha uh, tree, you see a weak animal, you think that I'm going to be a big one. But not you when it's not necessary. Years ago, the big name was organic. And we have the pocket having the organic farm because they are in, they, those animals have a very they have a very good refugia. The, 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 these worms are not frequent in contact with the worming. We use this one time and we see the effect for a long time. It's possible that if we take this animal non-organic because when you take one then they the same moment they are created from the organic animal. They are non-organic. If you take one then possible um, time, it's possible that the effects are not the same good that we have with them. just the warming and they gain and they have good stomach. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it never came back to the same pasture? Day, um, 56 days. 56 days. I will tell you what we did. How can an average farmer do that? That is, um, we are not, um, this is a management for organic people, and there are not too much organic farmers. In West Virginia, the only organic farm is West Virginia Organic Farm. That's not true. Oh, uh, but uh, we ship. Uh, uh, um, excuse me, we ship. Uh, 
It's possible that cows are easier with the, because the big problem in organic I went this week and said, guess what, we don't have any steers for that. It's going to be three weeks before we've got any more steers. You've got to be, you know, you've got to build that supply pipeline. Before we are or, or, or moments in the farm. But this management, if you have, this is another problem. If you have a slaughter that process organic and you can sell organic, you, it pay all the movement that you have to do. But we are doing research. If we were looking for profit with this management, no. We need to have the complete system. We need to have organic producers, organic slaughters, and organic um, supermarkets. And in this moment, it will be a very good profit, like if we'll go rich in, good point. in Ohio or we went back to uh, Colorado, you know, the hay baler equipment. I am, I am glad to hear somebody because I think that is, uh, if you develop the, this management is a very good management in efficiency. You offer the animal the amount that you can offer because you count the number and you can check how much you are offering and you can utilize better the grass. But we need to recognize that moving fences every three days and don't having permanent fences, that means a hand work really expensive. If you have a family work, it's possible that I recommend this. And we do, we come back every 15, 16 days. But in this experiment, the area we have an area that we do hay in between two grazing. And uh, you can better manage the worms and the quality for the animals. But I agree with you. If you have how to do this, having perimeter fences that are uh, with power and moving just the fences in this way can be really easier to do but in the 1980s, the home farm, written all these other farms down the library. And we said, this is it. This is a big chance to move on a home farm. And we to buy this farm. And so uh, I said, we're going to call it Easy Yoke. I said, we're going to call it Yoke. Huh? Yeah. Uh, we had some eggs that we account in, in some time. There are times that they go down uh, in the year. But visible tape worms, you don't need to do analysis. When you go to the field and check your animals, you will find visible tape worms. In, in the, we, we had some time those. And when did you, did you specifically treat for those or when did you 
In the organic farm, no. Uh, using selecting in this uh, land, not in the organic farm. I, I have an experiment <coughs> with uh, multi-species grazing at Reesville uh, in Preston County. And the warming with selecting, we control everything in a level that you can manage. And the plants gain there, very, very good gain in there. More sometimes the, that we expected. But uh, the problem is if you use too much repeatedly, that's the best thing you can uh, develop resistance. And it's uh, really, for me, easy to, yes, to work with much. like um, a protocol. But when we select at the end of uh, the year, for example, uh, last week we sold the EU lamps that will not pressure uh, this year in the... We select the animals that were non-organic and were less than uh, 60 pounds. I think we want the mistake. I think that we're over uh, 50. Right here. Now, the one next to the sun here is going into. Almost all the resistant because <laughs> they, they are in the top of uh, gaming. Uh, I got a feeling that. Uh, he's going to be right behind Steven NC State. It's a, a protocol, and we need to check. For, but and uh, so that's, that's the Baldwin family farm. Uh, you got to develop a nice business card. Whenever you go around people, you got to give them a card so they can uh, have something in their pocket to give somebody else and remind them. Make sure you pass a lot of things. Notice that scripture about what? Third John 2. You know what Third John 2 is? If you have with wool, one down, maintain the wool as a, the resistant animals to parasites are hating most of them. The, the breeds that are for uh, resistance, developed for resistance, they are animals not... Um, wool sheep are not very resistant. Uh, there, there are better, there are Groups in hair sheep, there are a lot of them that are breed. But in the uh, wool sheep, you need to develop your own uh, string group. You, you take out the animal non-resistant, and you maintain a better resistance. But the, it, it turns, no, we're selling beef. We're still. We're still again. It doesn't even say, you know, we're our, our partner. We're not in the station now. We'll do it again. Do it right. Okay. You've got to have a nice brochure. That's what I'm saying. Uh, 
to start, there are a way. It's using um, selective traps. If you go north on uh, Highway 86, about 20 miles, 25 miles from I 40, you hit this corner right here, Ball and Beef Alley. See those arrows? You think they move up the road? Well, guess what? There's a hayfield across the road over there. A lot of people working with genetic using the ram and taking the resistant lamps and accounting them, and you select the ram for the next time from, for this way, and you are making more resistant you. But it's long. It's, it's, it's not something like the warming. But it's No more questions? Thank you.